Today, 17th September 2018, ICC Trial Chamber 7, composed of Judge Bertram Smith, Presiding Judge, Judge Mark Perrin de Brichabo, and Judge Raoul Kanum Pangalangan, issued its resentencing decision for Mr. Jean Pierre Bemba Gombo, Mr. Aime Kilolo Musamba, and Mr. Jean Jacques Magenda Kabongo. The presiding judge, Bertram Smith, read the chamber's decision. Today, the chamber will first pronounce its new joint sentences and then summarize the basis for them. The new sentences for Mr. Mangenda, Mr. Kilolo, and Mr. Bemba are for Mr. Mangenda, the chamber sentences him to a total of 11 months of imprisonment. After deduction of the time he previously spent in detention, the chamber considers his sentence of imprisonment as served. For Mr. Kilolo, the chamber sentences him to a total of 11 months of imprisonment. After deduction of the time he previously spent in detention, the Chamber considers his sentence of imprisonment as served. The Chamber further imposes a fine on Mr. Kilolo of 30,000 euros. For Mr. Bemba, the Chamber sentences him to a total of 12 months of imprisonment. After deduction of the time he previously spent in detention, the Chamber considers his sentence of imprisonment as served. The Chamber further imposes a fine on Mr. Bemba of 300,000 euros. The Trial Chamber 7 addressed certain prosecution arguments in relation to the main case acquittal of 8 June 2018. The prosecution argues that the acquittal evidences the damage caused by the conduct of the convicted persons and constitutes an aggravating circumstance. The Chamber does not follow this argumentation. The Chamber recalls that this case has been clearly understood as independent from the main case. This means that none of the Chamber's evidentiary findings in this case were affected by the main case appeal judgment in any way. This also means that in order to evaluate to what extent the corrupted witnesses affected the merits of the main case, the Chamber would inevitably need to assess the main case record. Doing so would be tantamount to disregarding the Chamber's consistent directions in this case. Further, there is absolutely no indication that the Appeals Chamber majority in the main case relied upon the corrupted witnesses. The prosecution manifestly fails to establish any causation between what the three convicted persons were convicted of and the outcome of the main case appeal judgment. This means that the Chamber cannot consider the main case acquittal as aggravating sentences to be imposed in the present case.